Hey, this is Matthew from NerdNewsToday.com. And Andrea from Insert Geek Here. And we are going to open some more blind boxes. Woo! It's our favorite hobby. It is. It's a very expensive hobby and we don't recommend it. Unless you're willing to rob some stores. So, let's open. We have some... Don't advocate robbing stores on camera! I'll tell you in private, in secret. Good idea. Anyway. <laughs> so we have another box from Titan Merchandise. The Titan Vinyl line continues with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I know this is the one you've been waiting for. Oh yeah. So you're a big Buffy fan. What, what do they call the Buffy fans? I don't think we actually have a name. Unless you're calling us Slayers. Did I miss something? Did I miss the memo? If there's a memo, let me know. Otherwise, yes, I'm a big Buffy fan. <laughs> Good to know. So for all the Whedon fans out there. Whedonites. We're Whedonites. called Whedonites. Ah, interesting. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I grew up watching Buffy. Uh, I kind of gave up a little bit, I think, probably towards the middle seasons. I came back a little bit towards the end. Um, but you you were a full-time I went. Uh, I was a full-time Slayer. I went right from start to finish. Um, were you an Angel fan also? Oh, yeah. I watched Angel. In fact, I liked Angel better once he was off Buffy. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Wow. Sorry, okay. sorry. I'm a, I'm a Spuffy lover, so sorry. <laughs> well, we're going to probably talk about Spuffy. At oh, some yeah, point we're talking because, Spuffy. Yeah, we, we, we've got a whole bunch of characters in this line. Uh, and maybe since you're the Buffy expert, you can tell us uh, what the timeline is for these figures because it appears mostly early season. Oh. Um, but uh, let's kind of just run down the line. You can kind of let us know. Yeah. So uh, we got ourselves Buffy, Willow, Xander, Giles, uh, it's the classic Scooby Squad. We've got ourselves Faith, and those are all basically common and uncommon. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have our super rare Buffy and a super rare Xander, which we'll talk about in a second. On the other side, we have Angel, Spike and Drusilla, um, Vampire Buffy, the Master, and the Mayor, because we love the Mayor. And then we also have um, super rare Angels and Willows. Um, noticeably absent from this, even though it's called the Welcome to the Hellmouth Collection, um, Season one, uh, but noticeably absent is Cordelia. I'm not 100% sure what the deal is with that, but I will say I'm already feeling her her absence. Um, I love Faith. I love the mayor. I'm glad we have a Drew in there, Drew and Spike. But I feel like she should be there. That's but, a good point. Yeah. I, I did not even think about Cordelia. Yep. See. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Sorry, Cordy. <laughs> yeah, she would not like to hear that. So I'm thinking the variants might be vampire versions of uh, these characters, at least for Xander and Willow, because there is a Buffy vampire version. But as for Angel, uh, the Angel normal version looks like it's the vampire, so maybe plain Angel is the super duper rare variant. That's kind of what I'm thinking too. Um, like I said, the, you ha we have Spike and Drew, and but we, and Faith and um, the Mayor, so we're looking, you know, the first three seasons really. Um, graduation day. <laughs> so this really is the first three. Um, but yeah, I could not tell you which other Buffy. I mean, she's in pants. That's all I can really tell. I don't think she's in a skirt. So Buffy in pants. That's our description. The common Buffy is in the traditional, you know, the the well known iconic black top, red, um, red pants. So nineties. It really was, but it was a good look. What's great though is the Oz is in a red jacket and black shirt. So I can't wait to get a Seth Green figure. How about you? Oh, I can't wait. I've been a Seth Green fan since way longer than I probably should admit to. I've been following his career since he was a wee lad. <laughs> so which of these do you want to get the most? Because you are the big Buffy fan. I know you want them all, basically. Yes. So. Uh, I think the ones that I'm most ex excited about are... Um, I am a big Spike fan, so, you know, that, that, there's that. Um, the Master looks pretty fun. Um, the mayor, because there just isn't enough love for the mayor, and he was by far and away one of the most entertaining villains. And oddly enough, just because I'm weird this way, I want the Giles. Mr. Feeney of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer world. Pretty much, yeah. Much more violent, Mr. Feeney. Well, he was Ripper. Feeney? Giles? Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Let's open some toys. Yes. Before we do, more Boy Meets World references. We could keep going. Why aren't there Boy Meets World Titan vinyls? Oh my god, Titans, can you please get on that? Because that would be hilarious. There is enough nostalgia for it. It could be a short, limited run, but you should do it. They could do a whole run of the ABC Friday Night <gasps> stuff. Oh, I don't know TGIF! I, was Boy Meets World part of the TGIF? Mm -hmm. It was, okay. I oh, couldn't yeah. remember for sure. So. <laughs> oh yeah. Then that means you got Family Matters. I know, Step Titans, Titans Urkel. <gasps> can you imagine a Titans Urkel? Can I do that? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, America. <laughs> Rosie Perez, Urkel. 
I'm sorry, America, I'm sorry, international, you know, other countries, anywhere that just saw that, I'm sorry. That was awful. You did do that. I... You did. Okay. Cut it out. Oh, she's two for two. <laughs> I'm gonna open some toys now. Let's... Well, open it step by step. <laughs> I don't really know who to reference now. I just want like, the title of the show. Sometimes I wish we were perfect strangers. Ah. Aha. Let's stop. <laughs> let's we're just, gonna stop right just... there. Fucking the Vampire Slayer, WB, CW, <laughs> UPN, it was on everything. It, it was not, it was never on the CW, but it was on, you know, like that. Okay, so I'm gonna say I have a Buffy or a Buffy here because, well, you can't tell from the box, you can't tell from the weight. I am feeling some texture in the hair that looks like it could be. It's a female, I'm almost positive it's a female. I'm pretty sure I've got a male, and I think it could be a Giles, actually. Ooh, so that'd be funny so if we got ourselves a Buffy and a Giles. Oh, I was right, oh! I'm totally uh, wrong. Apparently, I don't know what a person's head feels like. I got the same one! We got Buffy the Vampire, not the Slayer. <laughs> so that um, means she probably doesn't come with any accessories. She does not come with any accessories. But we got two Buffies. All the time, we can leave one up here for the fans at home to look at. We can admire this one. Yes. Okay, so this one's kind of fun. She does have the little fangs. It looks, they're really cute. <laughs> um, okay, so her head, this one, her head needs to be kind of pushed down a little bit because the neck is a little wibbly wobbly. Sorry, wrong one. Uh, we were talking Doctor Who. Or you can edit that out. <laughs> but yeah, so this neck is a little off, but that neck is fine. So. And worth noting, because the hair is longer, uh, and this is a thing with Titans across the board, mm -hmm. typically the articulation of the shoulders is going to be cut down because that hair mm -hmm. kind of blocks it a little bit okay. on both sides. I will say this, if you look at the hair lines, they're a little off. Something about the way that they're, they're not quite fitting as well as they could. Um, again, I'm going to say that it's probably just due to the fact that the hair is really different in style. It's very 90s. She has the two tendrils in front. <laughs> But yeah, if you can see, it's just not quite connecting as well as it could on each side. But it's still, it's solid enough on, you know. Uh, it, it's it's enough, you know. It, it's definitely more than enough. It captured the essence and, you know, I'd be proud to display it. It's pretty cool otherwise, and it's kind yeah. of funny we both got ourselves the Buffy vampire. She's a common in the line. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do like it though. I mean, uh, the detail on the vampire face is very cool. Yeah. It was a very unique vampire look at yes. the time, so it's cool that they capture it really nicely here. So, yeah, that's a good Buffy. And she has little earrings too, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Nice attention to the detail. So let's put our vampire Buffies down there. And hope for a regular Buffy. So we're going to see if we have the same luck we did with the Doctor Who wave, which was a lot of commons in the beginning, a lot of dupes, and then we kind of whittled our way down. Okay, oh, do I have? I think I have a male. I think I do too. Okay, if we go through this again, I'm just gonna have to, you know, wonder. Oh, 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 oh. Interesting. Uh, Alright, so. Oh, we got, we got different guys. I got Spike. I got bad haired Xander. We got 90s hair Xander. 90s hair Xander. So this would be the common Xander. Yes, that's the basic Xander and. Basic spike. Again, both two of 20, super easy to get, mm -hmm. but they look good. And now mm -hmm. they're gonna have a little staring contest, which will never end because they don't blink. That's awkward. Uh -huh. But he's gonna bite his face off. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. oh, denied. Though I will say this, this Xander does look a little bit different than what's on the packaging. Um, a little bit of a five o'clock shadow looks like on the He has packaging. a little, and also the hair is a little bit different. Um, it's, it's not a bad thing, it's just a different thing and... I think it looks more like Xander in the toy form, to be honest. Yeah, and if anything, Xander looks more 90s in this form than, and with this hair than on the box. I mean, that's sweater especially. That Oof. is 90s. No, no, it's the hair. The hair yeah. is pure 90s. And then there's Billy Idol. Yeah. Oh wait, sorry, Spike. Yeah. <laughs> Vampire Billy Idol. Billy stole his look. Wow. Back me up, internet! You know it's true! It's a nice day for a white wedding. Just ask Drusilla. She broke his heart. What, what, why are you trying to hurt Spike? What's Spike ever do to you? I wanted to go with the, we're doing references today. That's our uh, thing, right? For, for the video. He, yeah, but he's not getting ready for a white wedding. He's dancing by himself. I set you up. <laughs> I knocked it down. But sure you set me up. Now, now we're done. You get no more Buffy toys. Okay, I'll take these. Hey. <laughs> I'll find it. She just helps herself. Why not? 
Here, you can have a box. Thanks. <laughs> so See generous. how nice I am? <laughs> okay, who do I have here? I'm gonna say I have another male. Um, you'll a little. Bit. I think I got another dude as well. I think it might be another spike. Actually. I got another spike. Oh, I was. I'm having really bad luck with this wave because I got a willow, and wow. I thought it was a man head. I'm sorry, willow. Allison Hannigan, I swear he doesn't know. I love you, Allison Hannigan. I really did in high school and junior high. Actually, was when when it came on for me. She's pretty awesome. I, I've always been a big fan of her as an actress. Yeah, I watched um, what was it, the, the Torkelsons, that you know, going home or coming home show. I watched it. You rocked. I gotta say, this is not a good figure. No, this is not a winner. This is this saddens me to say this because the spike again. It's Spikes very cool, but let, let's get a good look at that willow. Ooh, ooh, I don't. That know. is not a nice looking willow. No. I hate to say that. That is a dud. Titans, you've done me wrong for the first time. Yeah, that one, I mean, technically there's not really much wrong there, but it it doesn't capture who Willow is. It's just, it's awkward. I mean, the smile on her face, I don't know if we have a good enough close-up of it, but she looks like she's in pain. And what bugs me is the two-tone paint job, mm -hmm. which is a common problem with a lot of figures you'll have. Uh, is, you know, this is one color, that little spot on her chest is another, which is really ugly and noticeable. Um, but yeah, like her eyes, are just the weirdest thing, or it just does not look like her. And There's not much of a likeness to, to mm. Allison Hannigan, unless there was like a likeness rights issue, which I don't believe there was, or else they wouldn't have done her in the line. It's um, not I, too good. I would even say they did the traditional, you know, willow hair behind her ear, but because it's a, they did a paint job instead of having a little bit of extra, you know, material. So again, it looks almost like she has, you know, like she got an under, you know, a side cut or something. Um, it, yeah, it's it's a little bit of a fail for me too. It's a little stanky, Willow. It's a little bit stanky. Ouch. Yeah, I went there. That was cruel, Gene. That's an empty. This is a full one. I'll take that full one. So, we're plowing through the commons once again. Yep. And once again, we're starting in the back row. I wonder if it's a thing. I, that's a good question. Um, I'm pretty, okay, I feel. I got a, something feel, something's just in the plastic. It felt kind of big. Okay, know. I'm pretty sure I just got another another male. Please don't be spicy. I'm gonna say I got an angel. Just I'm gonna I'm gonna just so you can say you got just someone. Just so I can say. Oh no, I'm wrong. I'm just I'm just completely Heat. wrong at picking men versus women. But I got myself a basic Buffy. Oh. Human <laughs> Buffy. Yeah, Buffy's that basic. <laughs> She's and not. Buffy's awesome. So. She comes with a little stake, which I'm gonna put in her hand, which is a little hard to see in terms of detail, but it's a nice looking stake. It's Actually, much better detail than the willow we just looked at and as a whole. Yeah. Um, nice texture, really good shape to it, and fits right in her hand, very nice. Again, a little bit of a flexibility issue with the arms because of the hair. Oh, actually, this is what I was talking about, though. You see over here, they have her, they have her, um, her hair behind her ears, but they have a tiny bit of fabric. So it, they have a fabric. They have a tiny bit of material, so it gives it a little bit of texture. While here with willow, it's just a paint job. So it looks, it's much flatter, and it's just, it does not work. But Buffy, she looks pretty cool. I don't know why they have her in the earrings, um, oddly enough, because while I know she wore them, they weren't this noticeable. <laughs> um, it almost gives her a slightly matronly look, which is weird. She does look a little bit older in toy yeah. form for some reason. Might be the outfit, I don't I, know. I, I think it's the earrings. Those kind of earrings naturally project a more mature Image. Buffy the soccer mom. <laughs> Buffy the soccer slayer. Yes. I like her bracelet though. That's cool. A little yeah. nice touch. Painted on there. Yeah. I mean, it looks, like I said, she looks good. It's just, um, yeah. I'd say they're doing, we're doing better with Buffy's than with the Willows. And oh look, I have another Xander. Though I'm not going to lie because of the haircut. Part of me wants to do a repaint of this and turn him into Jesse. <laughs> I know you guys remember Jesse. He was the one who went after Cordy and got vamped. Then, you know, things happened. Oops, he's dead. Tell me and, more. And it's not a spoiler because the show just celebrated its 20th anniversary. If you didn't know this by now, I'm not giving the good details away, so. How timely and convenient. <laughs> yeah, right? Have a Buffy the Vampire Slayer figure. Well, I thank you. Hopefully this will be a good one. And we're now uh, just, just about hitting the halfway point of the figures, and we're doing all right. We're plowing through the basics. Ooh, this one had almost a little bit of pep to it. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't, um... Skyhook. Thank God that didn't hit me. Uh, again, um, I want to say 
female, but I'm not 100% sure. She got ourselves another Buffy. But can't go wrong with Buffy. She's Buffy-tastic. Oh. And I got another Willow, but... Huh? Weirdly enough, this Willow... Looks kind of better. It is, and I think I could tell you what the issue is. It's the mouth. Yes, the mouth is... It's the mouth. Look at them together. Good Willow. Bad Willow. Bad Willow who had maybe a little too much um, uh, of the blue crystal, the blue rock. You're making a lot of Buffy references I make, here. No, actually I'm making a really bad Breaking Bad reference. We haven't gotten to those toys yet. Save it for later. I can't. <laughs> it was just too easy. Her mouth is jacked up. Bad Willow's mouth is completely jacked up on this one. Yeah, this. so really we, I think we did just get a complete dud because uh, yeah. it's... That one's much better. Yeah, it, it's like night and day. I mean, it's still a little weird, but mm -hmm. it's a lot better. So yeah. I take back what I said about the Willow as a whole. It's a much better Willow, not one of the best in the line. Definitely better than this one. So <laughs> I feel better. And just that bad Willow is going to go to the back of the line. Good Willow moves up to the front. Oh, yeah. She's got promoted. We're now officially halfway through, and we still have a pretty good amount to get through. We're still missing Drusilla. We're still missing ourselves the mayor. We still don't have a master or the Giles or Faith or Oz. Or any of the rares. Or any of the super rares yet. So. Uh, oh, 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 oh. This felt, feels a little interesting. I'm not sure. We don't need you. Um, I have something that. This has a funny face. Um, I believe I've got Drusilla because it's got I, a dress and I a flat it, face and no legs. Oh, oh, oh. I got something cool in here. I got a sword. Got a sword. <gasps> I got Angel! You got, that is the uh, super rare Angel? Nope. Or is that the basic Angel? This is basic, a I, well actually I mean, no, no. this is the super rare. Mm -hmm. I have, I have Angelus. At least we're pretty sure it's the super rare. We can't tell without us to get the other Angel to be certain. Oh yeah, good. yeah, we're not 100% sure. While you get the sword out, here's Drusilla in all of her creepy glory. Drusilla was weird. I, she was crazy, there's a difference. She was weird crazy. She was out of her mind because she was, you know, she was a psychic. She saw things that no one else saw. She heard voices in her head. She did, and she had visions. And they were real ones, and wow, that face is creepy. <laughs> she does not have that horsey amount. <laughs> I'm sorry. I kind of like it though. I kind of like how curly horsey it is. <laughs> it is actually pretty that is, that is quite the horse face. Uh, it's, a, it's a good figure though. I like it a lot. It's, man, it is frightening. It, it's, <laughs> I can't yeah. get over that face. I'm going to put you over here, even though you scare me, Drusilla. Okay, so we have Angel here. And I'm pretty sure this is Angelus and not regular Angel because of the sword. Um, the floppy sword. And because he's got the shirt that's like what, a few buttons open. But it could easily be either or. He's oh. still vamped. He's got red limb. By the way, real quickly, they do have the cool Buffy logo on the bottom. It's just a fun thing. It's nice to see. Yes. Um, okay, so this Angel, he's... He's pretty cool. I like the detail. Um, but again, we're having some a few little issues with quality control, like that button's bleeding. Yeah, um, not the worst, but it's it's there. Yeah, um, the sword itself. That's um, a little funny. It's a little floppy. I mean, he just yeah. It is a softer plastic, so after some pressure, if you put it between some books, it will. I mean, even right now, it actually looks like it's very flat yeah. out a little bit. Um, um, I think with some pressure on it, it will hold out, but it is. As you can see, especially this part here, it's a little floppy. This might might just be a dud that we got. Um, I tend to but, think it's their duds and more than everything because you can see from the rest of the line, Titan's pretty reliable. I mean, I can say from buying again, this is another one of those older Titans lines, uh, and since then they are using harder plastic. So I think this might be one of the reasons why they've gone with that because uh, the sword is floppy, and mm. only so much you can do about it. But they improved on future lines. I can at least say that much. And. Yeah, we'll get there soon. We'll see. We're gonna yeah. see the evolution of Titan for sure because we got a lot of these to go through. Yeah, I mean, like I said, he's pretty cool. Um, his mouth is really fun because he has the diff he, it actually has a little bit of texture, which is pretty cool. Like, you, if you run your finger about against it, I don't know why you would, but I like to do that. Um, so yeah, I mean, he he looks good. I particularly like the red worm eyes. Those look pretty fun. All right. But I think we're gonna put him right here, I guess. Yeah, we'll put him in the front with Drew. We can block Buffy. So, all right, we got ourselves another one we didn't have before, another two we didn't have before. That's Once good. again, having some good luck now as we get towards the end. Oh, this one. Uh, I'd like it if it was sharp. Oh, this one has a sharp face. No, that's a <laughs> nose. The nose is just very pointy. Well, I think you're in luck because I got a Giles. Yay! 
And it looks way better out of the box than it does on the packaging. That is oh, definitely yeah. uh, a Giles head. That head is pure Anthony Stewart head. Oh my god, I got the master! Wow. Oh, and just to let you guys know too. Oh, oh yes! Oh, even. Giles has the cross. So, what, what is this cross from? Is that anything particular? Or is this um, a normal cross? You, it's just the usual no, it's one. The yeah, fancy. Isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's the fancy cross. It's fancy. It. Um, oh, off the top, I'm drawing a blank, but I think it's just the cross that he was using. But it also looks sort of like what was um, on the, the Vampire book. See, that would have been a better accessory for Giles. <laughs> that's true. The Vampire book. Yeah, that's a cool looking master. Yeah, well, let's see. Again, a lot better out of the box than oh, in the box yeah. uh, package, rather, but. His face is phenomenal. That looks like the master. Yeah, I think out of all of these, as, as much as I like the Spike and the Drew, I would say these two probably look the most um Charles's head is a little you know it's not quite entirely Anthony e. Stewart head but seriously that profile come on that's pure Giles no yeah no it definitely is it's this is a very good likeness yeah these these two are fantastic by far and away my favorites of the group they get to go to the front of the line we from the class well Giles was always a good student when he wasn't being ripper spoilers if they don't know, then they're not gonna understand. That's kind of mean, though. Oh my god! Wait, now, twenty years old. It's, it's twenty years old. It's like you're having a joke with someone else, and they're sitting in the room just watching. Like I don't get it. Then go watch the show. Because why are you watching a Buffy unboxing if you don't know the show? Maybe they just like toys. If you like the toys, then go watch the show. You'll like them even more. You are really bossy to my viewers. I'm not being bossy. I'm being passionate. What's the difference? Um, one is more positive. Oh, oh. Oh, indeed, because I got Mr. Mayor. And I got Mr. Oz with a guitar. Wow, that's an unexpected. Actually, uh, wasn't he a bass player? Uh -huh. He was a bass player. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's his bass, but yeah. Okay, this has to come out. <laughs> so, the mayor. Now, I don't remember the mayor that well, uh, but that face is good. That's a good looking face. Uh, I don't know about that. That I'm face is actually kind of scary looking because the mayor always had the smile, but I think it's a little too um thin the face um because he was a little bit he had a little bit more of a square jaw so it just looks a little off to me either or maybe it's his teeth he is a little, i mean i could definitely repaint this and make him a jack nicholson joker oh yeah but i dig it it's cool i don't remember the mayor that well from this from the show I love the mayor. He was so cool. but if you are giving him the thumbs up then it works for me yeah um okay so oz Again, we're having the problem with the soft plastic. You can see there's a little bit of some bending. Well, you know, it's bending. Bendy. It's a little bendy, but it looks cool. The detail's great. Um, this looks like Seth Green. It looks like young Seth Green. This is Seth Green. Like, I'm used to seeing him now at this age, but this yeah. looks like young Seth Green, which is really weird to say, but it's, it's I him. I know, it's like... Especially from the profile. When I see the profile, I'm like, that is Seth Green. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. That's this, a very good likeness, too. This is amazing, and you should feel his hair. Oh my. It's very prickly. That is a very prickly head of hair you got there, Mr. Seth Green. It is very 90s. So I'd say so far the men have better sculpts than the women for the most part. I would agree with that. Oh, I know women have hair and that, can, you know, longer hair and that tends to be a little bit more difficult, but at the same time, they, given the texture on this, if you can do this with a, with a, with a male figure or with hair, then you should be able to, you know, nail the female hair. <laughs> No, that's just my opinion. Um, I still think they all look pretty good, but yeah. <laughs> well, let's move on. Let's to the go front on. Of the line, cause he looks good. Yeah. And... Now that I've made things awkward, um, <laughs> let's go. We're down to the final four. Will we get a rare, or will we get a faith? Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, I'd like it if we at least got one faith, cause we gotta have faith. Gotta have faith. Okay, who do we have? Oh, please be a three. We need a fate. So we have four boxes and we need five. Let's see. Yeah, I got no idea what I have. I don't even want to guess because I'm terrible at guessing Buffy characters. Oh, man. And we got him. Whoa. <gasps> wow. We got the Willow variant. If oh, I sort of wish she was vamped Willow. She's not. But I don't care because it's the outfit that we all love. And that's the... Again, a better looking Willow altogether. Oh yeah, by far and away. This is this is how I want. Again, I have the issue with the little bit over here because if they did it on Buffy, I don't understand why they didn't do it on Willow. But oh my goodness, this is so much better, and I love the outfit. I mean, that's yeah, <laughs> that, that's the iconic vamp Willow, you know, outfit. 
I remember that episode now. Now I'm seeing it. It brings yep. back flashbacks Board to the now. 90s. <laughs> Willow reference. <laughs> I, uh, that was frightening how you just did that. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. We're doing good because that's the 1 of 40 Willow. Here's the 1 of 40 Xander. Uh, oh, it's a Halloween commando. It's a Halloween Xander when they all became whatever the costumes they were that, that they were wearing. Oh, gosh. See, that would have been fun, um, Titans. I'm just saying a Halloween Buffy um, set. That would be cool because there were enough outfits. You know, you got you can also throw in a little bit of band candy. You, know, you just have a lot of fun with the different costumes that they all wore at different times. Xander comes with a <gasps> M16 looking-ish machine gun or AR-15, I don't know. It's a gun that goes pew pew. <laughs> it's a pew pew machine. It's a pew pew machine. Pew 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 pew. That was unexpected. I, I was thinking vampire, like across the board, mm. but that's cool that the 1 of 40 is Halloween. I like it. Halloween reference. I'm glad because that was a fun episode and I would have liked it Buffy in the dress a little bit more. You know, I think I would have traded um, Vamp Buffy for um you know halloween buffy but i don't care still pretty awesome so he gets to go to the front too from the class for xander okay so we're down to the final two and we're missing still an angel uh might be either i guess prop so we probably have the common angel if that's the case yeah and we're missing a faith and so, we're missing yeah no. i wonder and we're missing a buffy yeah, that's pretty because there's three Buffies in this line. So we're not going to complete the set, but we're getting pretty close. And that's, you know, really all you can ask for when you're dealing with these sorts of If you're getting a whole box, which is really the best way to buy the blind box. If, you, if you're a completionist, then you want to buy a box. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a female, but I can't tell you. Okay, let's see. Who am I getting? <gasps> yes! I think I got the right... Oh, we finally got Faith. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that, was, that was quite the reaction there, Faith. Oh boy, you're gonna see this and you're gonna laugh. Okay, so let's talk about the positive before I do the unveil. Oh. Well, looks like we got a pair of Faiths. Oh, that's actually... Ooh. Ooh, yep, you're seeing it. That um, is... A oh. <laughs> oh my so, god. Okay, 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 before we do this reveal, because this is this is special. It's um, an accessory, yeah. She comes with the knife. Ah, the knife. That is a nice knife. It's not just a nice knife, it's the knife. I feel like we're about to go into QVC territory now tonight. <laughs> so, you, it's got a full tanto made of uh, steel. <laughs> and for only $9.99, it can be yours. Sorry, what was that? Oh, I'm sorry, supplies are going quickly, so now they've upped the price, so three payments of $9.99. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> Someone no. watches a lot of QVC because you did that way too well. It's called acting. Acting. Well, you gotta know your material, so you clearly <laughs> studied. Everyone knows it, but oh um, no! Seriously though, this this looks really cool. Um, of course, it's not as detailed as any lover would, you know, knife lover would have. But this is the knife that you know the mayor gave Faith, and she sniffs it and loves it. Call that a knife. This is a knife. It's <sighs> the same knife, but it's, it's in the exact, bag still. Yeah. Okay, so now we have to talk about Faith. <clears throat> I mean, um, do we just put them up at the same time? No, or? I think we need to. Do, well. <laughs> I think mine should go first. Yours is... Well, no, because yours is the good. We're calling mine the good one? <laughs> Look at <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> Take back what I said. Okay, so, like I said, before I do this reveal, I just want to say, you know, this is clearly a dud. Like, this definitely was not the norm. Um, but here you go. Here's Faith. Um... Now, if you discount the eyes that are going every which way, um, the hair, the body, the outfit, it looks good. It looks really good. I love that they used the, that they went with the, um, the black out, the black and white outfit because it has the star, you know, it has the, um, heart on it. But, oh dear lord, look at those eyes. That is some quality control those issues shoes. gone wrong. Yes, because let's show everyone what yours looks mine like. Mine is the slightly better one, except mine has had her throat slit. <laughs> yeah. But well, at least she doesn't have derpy eyes. <laughs> well, derpy pony, could, we could do a mashup now with derpy pony. They are besties now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna write that fanfic. Ooh. Roll dirty four. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my faith has had her throat slip. She's gonna die, but at least she's gonna die with a smile. Your faith just doesn't know which way is left, which way is right, which way is up, which way is north, which way is pepper, which way is blue. She's gonna have a tough day at school tomorrow. Okay, so um, clearly there were some quality control issues, particularly with the women. 
And especially with the faith. Um, I will not keep the faith. In this case, that pun is well used. It, yeah, yeah, okay. I get that one. Yeah, I, I, I get that reference. Good, <laughs> good. But yeah, wow, I mean, it's just, it's hard to talk about this because it's just off. Um, but like I said, the outfit itself looks good, the hair looks fine, um, that face. Um, I will say this, looking at it, a um, couple of things that I'm not, again, even if, I think even if the face was correct, um, I think they're a little off on lip color, eyebrow color. I think I feel like skin color even looks a little off to me. The skin color is a little off because um, Eliza Dushku is a little bit more of an olive tone, so she's a little so so it's like the undertones are a little off. Um, I mean, the it's, Titan colors are a little cartoony yeah. because Drusilla, as you saw, is extremely pink. Yeah, but that one works because but you see the difference is with the Willow. Like if you look at the hands in particular, the Willow and Faith. I mean, they're different tones and. That's not that's not a bad thing. That's that's what we want to see. We want to see the variation in skin tone. But I think Eliza could have been a little, I'm sorry, Faith could have been a little um darker. Maybe even closer to what the skin tone on her chest is, um, because if you'll notice, it's a slightly darker pink. Yeah. Um, or fleshier color. You know, whatever we're calling it. Tan. Tan. Yeah. Um, but also like the lip color. Faith wore dark lipstick. Her, she had dark brown hair. This is actually a little lighter than I would have liked. I would have wanted her to have maybe something closer to Xander's hair. So basically, in a, in a line that's really about all the female characters, the females are kind of the weakest ones of the bunch. Yeah, I think that's the best way to sum it up, which is very disappointing because given which characters they took, you know, like from which episodes and from which moments, I mean, there was so much to work with and they picked some really great moments to capture. But I'd have to say that there's definitely some serious misses here. That is unfortunate. Uh, again, this is one of the earlier, mm -hmm. or I don't necessarily, necessarily want to say earlier, but it's an older Titan line. Yeah. Uh, and you know, having bought many more Titans, I know they have adjusted a lot of these oh, issues. Yeah. So that's good to know that for at least for minifigure collectors, the problems were solved. For Buffy fans, this is what you're going to have to deal with, unfortunately, with this wave. Yeah. There's some issues. Yeah, but. Like I said, over, overall, you should be happy with it. Um, yeah, you don't want to send it to hell. And I mean, we're going we're gonna to definitely uh, check in with Titans about QC issues because we want to know if, if, let's say, someone out there buys one of these and they get a derpy eye faith, <laughs> can they send it back and get a new one? So I'm, I'm going to look into that and we will hopefully have an update yes. sometime with that. Or maybe even in this video, we'll see how fast they respond. Ooh, that's a good idea. Um, so we will at least find out what the deal is. I think this is kind of one of the problems you get with blind bag toys yeah. is there are often quality control issues because of how they're produced. Yeah. And you don't know until you get them and then you're potentially screwed. Mm -hmm. I could say I've bought a few Titans in the past. It's been rare, but I've had a few where maybe an arm pops out mm -hmm, yeah and you can just kind of put it back in it's not a big deal I, I never have seen a paint issue before like that so <laughs> yeah that, those are two bad misses in one box yeah I, I gotta admit like I've also ha I also have several um Titan figures I've seen several of them you know I have friends who have them and it this is rare what I'm seeing here but it's definitely something we need to investigate so basically, be aware when you're buying this line, you might have some issues. Uh, and overall, again, we, we like the line. The women have some work to be done, yeah. um, but not yeah. not the worst. No, not, not the worst. I mean, it's I, definitely worse than that for other people, but... Uh, I would love it if they came out with the Wave 2. Just saying. Especially now, you know, Titans, this 2017, their sculpting has improved leaps and bounds. Yeah, so, I mean, it's the 20th anniversary. Now's the time to do it. Now is the perfect time, and can we please get a Cordy? Yes, we need a Cord... Who, who would you want to see in another wave? Cordelia, Anya, Tara, um, I guess maybe O'Reilly because I'm not, you know, he was a part of it. You'd need Dawn. Ideal world, I'm not going to lie, I would love a Joyce because I love Joyce Summers and, you know, what happened to her was like, <laughs> but um, I would love the trio. Oh my god, variant, skinned Warren. Come on, that would be hilarious. So, you know, you'd want... Oh man, there are way too many for me to choose. You've already listed like almost half a case right there. Wouldn't I you for a know, wave? Um, because I would love to have the trio because, you know, you have Andrew, you have Jonathan, the gentleman, because 
who doesn't want the gentleman? That's actually something I was missing from this wave. And it's an early wave. It's like supposed to be like a season one. This is seasons um, one season to three. three. One to three. Yeah. Gentlemen weren't till later, I guess. They're... Season four and five. Yeah, so we just missed them, which is too bad. No, they would have made four. they would have made for a great figure. Oh, they would have been fantastic. Fantastic. I like I said I would love it if they could do a season three, four, and then just five, six, the, seven. Finish the series even. Yeah. Okay, you, you can have a Nathan Fillion's character maybe. Um again, it would be a really hard thing to do because just because there's so many really great characters and so many fun things to play with. Nathan Fillion's character, Caleb, bleeding black eyes. Come on, that would be awesome. You know, different Warrens. Buffy bot Buffy. Oh, Buffy Harmony. Um, like I said, I could go on, as you can see, but um, the, I think the ones that would have to be in another set would be, you know, Anya, have to be Tara, Cordelia. Um, I think those are the three, uh, the gentlemen, because they're just so iconic. Um, Dawn, I guess we should probably throw in there. She's grown on me. She, she's much better in the comics, but she's still annoying. Um, but yeah, I, I, there, there are a lot of characters to choose from. You know, so I think that there could be a lot of fun had in another wave or two jam, or three. Jam, jam. Be gone, foul demon. Be ah, gone. Be ah. gone. So. As a minifigure collector, that's one story. We'd probably buy these anyway. But oh, yeah. as a Buffy collector, would you have other Buffy? Would, would you suggest other Buffy fans buy this line? Would, would you tell them to buy a box? Yeah, I'd tell them to buy a box. I mean, I think even with the issues overall, this is a really good set. But yeah, it, it's, a, it's a fun set. You know, I really, I, I like it. You know, like, I, I don't know how to say it. I like it a lot. Oh my God, Snyder. It would be so much fun to have a Principal Snyder. Oh, we need a quirk. <laughs> or better yet, a, a Snake Mayor with half of Snyder in it dangling out. That's just wishful thinking. I know I'm getting a little over my head, but come on, that'd be awesome. Um, but no, seriously, I would recommend this. I think it's fun. I think people will get a kick out of it because who doesn't want their own little master? You know, to do with what you want. Or have Drusilla talk about, you know, the stars talking to her while she's inside and can't see them. You know, I, I mean, it's just fun. And I just think there, yeah, I just think that we should, there should be more Buffy products. It's the 20th, 20th anniversary, as I've said. Yeah, 20th anniversary. Um, so yeah, we need more Buffy products. This would be great. And it's a, I think it's a good thing for collectors to have. So maybe Titans will get on that and make another line. For now, this is what you guys have out there. Yeah. So if you're a Buffy fan, it's the vote of approval. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'm all about likenesses. I know Titan has improved their likenesses as they've mm -hmm. gotten along. Uh, these aren't hideous. No. They're recognizable still. There are some QC issues. Oh, yeah. But out of a box 20, we had two really bad ones. The mm -hmm. rest were not as bad, not as big of an issue. I've oh, seen yeah. plenty of worse things on the market uh, and in other blind boxes. So overall, <laughs> yeah, so not bad. Definitely not bad. So you Buffy fans, go out there and get yourself some yeah. Buffy Titans. For us, we're going to pack these up, and you guys need to stay tuned for some more toy videos. Oh, yeah. I am Matthew from Nerd News Today. I'm Andrea from Insert Geek here. And we'll see you guys very soon with some more blind box and blind bag unboxings. Step. Step, step. Up ah. your nose! Up your nose!